In tonight's Indie Unsolved, the murders of four Burger Chef employees in Speedway back in 1978 may be Indiana's most baffling and enduring murder mystery. It was a case police admit was mishandled from the start. For the first time, Fox 59's Russ McQuaid talks with a key witness in the case about he remembers about that night. What happened here on November 17, 1978 still haunts a man who was a boy back then but was the first to walk into this former Burger Chef restaurant and figure out something was wrong. Brian Kring was an employee of the Burger Chef on Crawfordsville Road 43 years ago and told me what he saw when he walked in the back door that night. You know, when I was walking around, I did walk in the, the manager's office and I noticed that the safe is sitting wide open, cash drawers are laid out. And that's after that, that's when I, I called somebody um, and they told me to call the police. During the first hours of that Friday night, police thought maybe employees Jane Fright, Daniel Davis, Mark Flemons, and Ruth Ann Shelton cleaned out the cash register and took off. A theory that was horribly discredited when their bodies were found in a Johnson County field two days later. What do you think happened to those kids that night and why? Oh, it was drugs. Somebody owed somebody. Investigators think these men, now all dead, were part of a crew robbing fast food restaurants and shooting people in Indianapolis in 1978. In 2018, one of their friends, suspected as being part of the crew but not there that night, told me he didn't think this case would ever be solved. Three years ago, Indiana State Police showed us the knife used to kill Jane Fright and the bus of two men who were spotted out back of the restaurant the night of the killings. It was botched, and I believe somebody recognized somebody or somebody physically tried to overtake whoever tried to come in, and they hurt that individual or whatever. All these years later, Brian Kring says he is still haunted by the Burger Chef murders. I always thought it could have easily been me. You know, I could have easily missed them by five minutes. 30 minutes. Kring still has his doubts about an ex-employee who he says showed up that night just after he did, but split once he knew the cops were on the way. Kring says he'd like to talk to investigators about his concerns. At the former Burger Chef restaurant in Speedway, Russ McQuaid, Fox 59 News.